think it's good to see. First of all, the Irish Swimming has gone so well. Probably three good performances under the belt at this stage, and uh, uh, very good for us. I think some of, of the key players have been, have been Munster led. So obviously Craig at nine, Jack Flannery fifteen, Josh. Uh, and you've got John Hadnett as well in there in the sub academy, uh, Chanton Wren. So they've all had, had um, a really big impacts in the game. And we've also had some guys who just against Italy last week who made their debut as well in Billy Scandal and Ben Healy, you know. So, um, yeah, it's been positive. It's been positive both from the point of view of they've been performing uh, for the Irish 20s and obviously um, from Munster's point of view to see, to see guys, uh, so many guys as a key part of that team has been very, has been very good for us, yeah. I must say it's been excellent and uh, like to be down there that first night against England and, and probably, I don't know what the official attendance was, but it seemed like a very full ground, five or six thousand I presume, but the atmosphere was outstanding, it was a great game of rugby and hopefully that was the, the thing to whet the appetite for, for the public down there that we get down there and see them again in, in two weeks time against France. I'm really looking forward to that one as well, so hopefully another, another big game down in Cork. Yeah, yeah, it's good for Sean. He's been uh, he's year three, obviously. Uh, he's in a very competitive position in the second row. And uh, to be fair, I think he's he's uh, he's really kind of stepped up in the last six nine months. He'd, he'd uh, he's made some impacts in the Pro 14 last year. Uh, he he had a very good tour to South Africa. We felt um, uh, with the seniors when they toured South Africa against the Cheetahs. So yeah, this delighted for Sean. Well deserved. Uh, He's obviously come through the, the path from Cashel to Rockwell, back to Cashel again a year out of school and playing with Gary Owen now. So for all the people who helped him along the way, it is, it is a big step and hopefully more to come from Sean as well. Yeah, he has, he's settled really well and uh, I was actually at the, the Limerick Derby Friday night where Gary Owen were playing uh, Young Monsters and uh, it was a real old school Monster, Monster Cup Derby style, you know, 12-10, uh, four penalties winning for Monsters, but it was a real scrum battle and to see a guy like Keenan standing up for his club in that kind of real intense game was uh, very good to see. So he's, he's 19 years of age and he's standing up with senior rugby as a tight head prop. So uh, it's a good, good sign for Keenan and hopefully a good sign for us and, and to give him that security he's here next year and, and in the development country the year after is great. And I think there's a good bit of growth for Keenan yet, uh, but he definitely has the potential and he's working very, very hard at the moment to get there. Yeah, he did, yeah, and I know it was a bit of a mixed result, another few Munster clubs playing each other, but yeah, it was good for Sean. He's kind of been in the fringe of that Irish 20 squad, he kind of came on against England, he was in the bench against Scotland, um, and he came, went back and played club rugby, and, and you know, that's, that's excellent for Sean. He's, uh, he's, uh, he's kind of answered, uh, he responded well to, to not making that Irish 20 squad, done well for his club, and hopefully uh, we'll continue to grow. Yeah, it is great. I mean, he, he got injured pre-Junior World Cup last year, so unfortunately he missed out on the Junior World Cup. Um, so this will be his first game back for UCC. Um, and you know what, it's great. It, it's tough when, when lads at that age have those long-term injuries. It really tests them mentally. Uh, and Jack has been very, very, very good. He's trained very hard. He's kept his college work up in UCC. He's been really, really positive and constructive around here. And he's going to come back, hopefully, in very good nick. And um, touch wood, he has a good impact. He'll, he'll come off the bench. and. Uh, yeah, has a good game for UCC, but delighted for him and, and great to see him coming back from injury, yeah. Obviously, uh, Jack got injured pre-World Cup, James French was with him, but he got injured about three or four weeks later, so he, James is probably a slightly bit three or four weeks off coming back uh, beyond Jack, basically, so hopefully in the next month to six weeks you see James French back in action. And then two shorter term injuries like um, Owen Clark has a, has a thumb injury, which is going to keep him out for four to six weeks. Uh, Jack Daly, who's with the Irish 7 squad at the moment, uh, has picked up a slightly injury, which is going to keep him out. We're not too sure, maybe three to three to four weeks, you know. And unfortunately, in that derby on Friday night, uh, you have months ago, Gary on Liam Coombs actually picked up a, a leg injury, so he's going to be out, you know, again, probably that three to six weeks time period. We're not too sure yet, we're just getting assessed. But overall, it, you know, touch wood, it's, it's a pretty healthy picture. Um, and the, the kind of the guys are coming back out from long term injuries, and hopefully, just a few short term ones, which guys can get over very quickly. Jack, Shane Daly and Alan Tynan actually are up in the Irish 7 squad and they're, they're really targeting that Hong Kong tournament. It's, it's crucial for them to get into that World Series next year. Uh, it does, it challenges them, uh, you know, it, we'd see it as a great development tool for your catch pass, your individual tackle tech. There's a lot of space in the field that you've got to be able to cover and tackle and obviously pass into as well. And the other thing is it's absolutely top class for, for, for fitness levels, you know. And, uh, we've used it as a development tool for a lot of our young players before, Anthony Eddie's coaching at our seven squad and we've seen guys like Dan Gog and Alex Wooten at various times go up there for periods, Shane Daly last year and back up for a period this year and uh, it has been very beneficial and, and it works for certain players obviously in certain positions. I think for the three guys going up at the moment, um, Jack, Alan Tynan and uh, Shane Daly, it'll be very constructive and very positive hopefully.